Hello guys, I'm back at it again. To give you guys another video of something that you need. And you might be here for a reason. It's because you can't figure it out or you're having some problems with your machine. I'm back here to help you one more time. And it's Rob. So thanks for joining the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming here today. Be sure to subscribe and hope you get something out of this next video. So, with further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, I thought I was going to do one more video for you guys. And I like to say guys a lot. I've just been going over my videos. So I'm like, guys, guys, guys. And so this is a head hoop. I'm just going to take you from head hoop to embroidery. Um, because the hat hooping by itself is a whole nother video. So, all right. So once you checked out my hat hooping video, which I'll do another time, since I already got a hoop, I don't want to re-hoop it. All right. So you release it from the hat hoop, which this is right here. And then you're going to take it over to the machine over here, guys. All right. I'm going to show you how to put this in, too. I'll just show you how this works. Why I got it, because I just put it in. So... This has two notches. Let me move this out the way so you can see good in there. How to put the... Um, I put the... Yeah, it's called a hat driver. So, this is one notch. This little notch under here. And... You're going to see on this side, it has the same type of thing. So, let me move this one out the way. So what's the notch there? So there's a notch there, and then this secures it down. And underneath, you can see there's another little notch right here. I mean, another little one of these. So these two slide in to secure the bottom. To secure the bottom part, you tighten those both up. You're gonna see, once you have it, you'll see there's two. Let me put this back in. I wanna lose one of these while I'm trying to do a video to support and uh, support you guys. I hope you guys support me back. Mm. Uh, so that goes in there it slides on this just slides in on here you want to guide it by uh, these little two things right here I have another one out so you'll see oh, I'll show you you lucky I have two machines so it's gonna help you help you guys as I said before the bottom part right here see it's got two on the bottom I have to keep mines on there so I don't lose these. And this is the top part of, the, of it right here. You put these two first ones in. And then these are the ones for the screws. I actually don't even know what these extra holes are for. So, <laughs> All right. And then you slide it in through this. You slide the neck in through this little hole right here. You want this facing out. You can't really even see that right now that it's like that, but so that's an example of one out. And now you take this, this is your hat, it's nice and hooped. You wanna take that little opening right there, you see that opening? And then point to it. This is what I mean by opening. You put the hat on like this sideways first. Just slide it on over there. Then you come around here. And you match up. See that little opening? You just match it up right in there. And then your knees just click in. See that? And then there's one more at the bottom. So you guys on the, heard you heard the three click. So it's a three click mechanism. Now, on these dead hats, I don't need this little thing. I'll show you what it is. I don't, I don't even use it. This right here, I don't use it on dead hats. Um, but you're supposed to use this right here. It helps uh, to relieve the gap. It help, helps relieve. I'm going to show you how to put it in also. Luckily, this is the good thing about having two machines. So, it will go in like this, guys. That little hole will go into here, and that one go there, and it sits like this. It's going to come on your machine. You need to take that off also. <laughs> if you're doing anything that's not hats. So, I was doing it for a while, and the guy was like, oh, 
you don't need that on there and you see how this is tight you want everything tight like this because you don't want no gap in here okay then you come over to the screen right here i'm just going to use this select your file i'm gonna cancel this one i gotta redo some things and here this is the size of my image so you want to go that want to go halves half c's i want to confirm the file that's the hoop see these are the hoop sizes right here being me main this is the hat hoop let me go back this case you didn't see that all right see that's that's gonna be the size of the image i need so i'm gonna go out of this cancel out of this and I confirm see, when you want to confirm you want to you want to confirm on this page because then you know exactly what it is cancel it out the emb it means that see the, the design confirm the emb yes now you got to pick your hoop that's my hoop confirm it is the check it says frame may move caution it's letting you know that your frame may move let me see if i can get that into screen all right and this is it this is your area of the cap and what i like to do is slap mines all the way up that's the closest to the brim i could get i'm trying to get closer than that even all right until to get in there you go one step out because it seems like it's a lot <laughs> but it's not that's uh i think this is like three inches so then i go here and i go pick my color color one is white i'm gonna uh, say okay great and then it does it goes upside down because it knows that you got that it's going to be upside down so you don't have to flip it or anything okay let's see what it does let's go over to the Tight pressure that it has on the hat. Now, on this hat, I don't have any backing on it. Uh, stabilizer, I mean. Uh, I found with some dead hats, with a lot of hats, you really don't need stabilizer. Because it's already stable. You know, it's not, a, it's not that flimsy of a material. Hats are tricky, guys. I'll just tell you that. So, yeah, I'll let you see this whole hat and this whole process. You know, listening to that, I don't like that sound. Because... Also, you want to slow it down. Another thing, since so going there, I say you can do your hat somewhere around 500. So, I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to slow my. I'm still mine down to like about 550. It's still fast. It just gives the machine time to think. You know, because it has to go through, it's a little thicker material than it is when you're doing regular clothes. And that's what, that's what caused me to breaks is that it can't penetrate the material. <coughs> I 
Right now, I'm gonna be hooping another hat. That's what I would do now. See, and also, like this right here, this seam is always a little tougher because you gotta think it's four uh, ply, or two ply. It's folded in half. like this logo so it's a good quick thing that I can show y'all how the machine operates and I can tell you things just how it, how it goes and you see that it's still staying tight though shrunk down the size of it that I had it so I need to measure it if possible. to the channel if you're getting something out of this comment down below if you have any more questions I suggest you run all taps a little slower than you would run everything else I've seen people run and catch it a thousand uh, RPM uh, for stitches per minute I just think that's uh, something I'm not going to do One thing is when you stitch your hat, it's supposed to go like this right side or left side first. This one, since the logos are so small, you can just do it regularly. So after, this, after this is done, I want to measure um, the size of it also so I know like what sizes that the cap could do without even having to do with all this extra stuff. Gearing up for the summer, guys. So a lot of caps gonna be coming soon. So we need a machine dedicated to caps. Oh, thank you. And it returns back. All right, now I know I'm done. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna click this one. Click that one and click that one. Now the hat is released. I turn it back to the side how I got it in. I pull it out. Put it over there. Let me put this frame back in. I keep my frame like under my machine. 
can see, guys, got to get a little bit more organized. Yeah. It is what it is at this point. All right. Now I uh, take these off. And then clip here. I'll do another i'll do a hat hooping video now this right here this is like basically it's a little burn and what gets that out is this little thing this miracle thing called water so that's all you need to do guys to get that hat burned out just like that and it's gone call it hoop burn but a little water gets it out and here we go the dad hat and all I got to do is go in there with some scissors. It's got two wires, I mean, two uh, jump stitches. But that came out pretty good, and I'm proud of it. So, all right. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Get ready for the giveaways. Uh, they're coming soon. And if you see anything that, you, that I make on this channel and you like it, just comment down below. I'm going to leave a link to the website. <laughs> In the bottom of this l1cl.com i forgot that my last one but i usually put down there hey, any other questions just shoot them through there and we'll get back to you all right till then i'll let your boy i'll let you rob roy salute